Ian, uh, Randall had one of the best games of his Knicks career Friday night. How specifically has Randall taken his game to another level this season? You know, Randall the other day really credited a trainer that he's been working with for most of his career. And the difference this year is Julius Randall's brought that trainer with him to New York. So the trainer stays with him during the season. And that's something that's new this season. And Julius Randall said earlier in the year that he felt like he was in the best shape of his career. And he said just the other day that he felt like he was still there, best shape of his career because of his work with the trainer, both physically and mentally. He just felt like he was in a great place coming into Friday's game against Washington. And then everybody saw what that meant on the court with Randall just going crazy yet again, carrying this Nick team on a night that they needed it. So obviously Randall's been good, but how important has Emmanuel quickly been to the Knicks this year? Yeah, if you look at since Tom Thibodeau has cut this rotation to nine players, Emmanuel quickly has been such a key to the Knicks' success uh, tonight. Scored points off the bench, but really defensively, I think he has really been engaged all year long and made a huge difference on that end. You saw it a couple times tonight against Washington, particularly a possession when quickly was defending Kendrick Nunn, stay with him in the corner, force him into a tough shot. You've seen that time and time and again from Emmanuel quickly. And if you remember beginning of the season early on this year, Knicks had some conversations with teams about potential trades of quickly, partially because of, uh, you know, pending contract situations with quickly and other players. But the way quickly has played really since December on has been fantastic. And obviously that changed the conversation around the Knicks and any trade talks with Emmanuel quickly. Well, Derek Rose is still with the Knicks, but hasn't played at all in 2023 with the buyout market heating up. Is there any interest in Rose from other teams? Yeah, I think several t playoff teams or at least teams that are currently in playoff position are, are keeping an eye on whether Derek Rose will secure a buyout, will attempt to get a buyout from the New York Knicks. Bleacher Report reported that the Phoenix Suns were among those teams. I know that uh, Milwaukee had shown interest in Rose prior to the deadline. I think the Lakers had showed some interest in Rose as well prior to the deadline. And then several teams currently in playoff position were wondering after the deadline whether Rose would seek that buyout. Uh, I don't think anything is off the table at the moment, but really uh, no movement one way or the other uh, right now. Really, Rose has until March 1st to sign with a team if he wants to play in the playoffs, be eligible for the playoffs with the team. So keep an eye on that March 1st date for some movement uh, with Rose in the buyout market.